In this video, we're gonna be showing you how I took lights very similar to the ones on my fence here, and I put them on my stroller with one major caveat. This video is also sponsored by Govi, but we'll get more into that later in the video. If you're not interested in the stroller lights, then you can check out my fence light video by checking out the link up above or in the description below. We are gonna be having a Govi giveaway with the permanent under eve LED lights too, as well as a string of the Christmas lights. So check out all the rules in the description below. So I've seen these costumes that people put together where they take LED lights, they put them on the outside. And most recently I've seen this mega church Christmas production, which was just insane. And they had these drummers covered in LEDs. Well, I've had the idea to sync my stroller lights to a fireworks show at Disney World. And I'm gonna show you step by step exactly how you can do the same. I saw somebody post on a forum about a thing called an ES Pixel Stick. So I Googled that and I found those boards. They weren't too expensive. They're about $30. And they have a micro SD card reader, which we'll come back to. The ES Pixel Stick has a broad voltage input range and the seed pixels that I bought were five volts. And I knew that battery banks that you use to charge your phones are also typically five volts. So I ordered the ES Pixel Stick and to power it, I took an old USB cable, I cut it, stripped it down and exposed all of the wires. I assumed the red and black wires would be positive and negative, but I went ahead and checked that out with a voltmeter and sure enough, they were positive and negative. So I cut the data wires because we won't be needing those and I stripped down the red and black wires and attached them to the ES Pixel Stick. I plugged the USB into the power bank and everything's working great so far. The seed pixels that I bought have what's called a Ray Wu style connector. It's just a guy that manufactures LEDs on AliExpress. The colors of the wires that came with this connector are not intuitive, but they had a little diagram telling me which one was positive, negative, and also data. And here's something that I learned. Evidently the Pixel Stick has a data positive and negative. I don't know what the negative is for, but your data wire goes into the positive. So now I've got the board and I can power it using a battery bank. Do you want to take your house from this to this? Well then let me tell you about today's sponsor, Govi. They are the brand when it comes to home accent lighting. Today we're gonna to be focusing on permanent under eve lights, their Christmas lights, and their curtain lights. The installation went very quick, aside from a few wasp nests. Now the major selling point for me is twofold. One is having year round accent lighting from the permanent under eve lights. I think it just looks incredible. The second one is Christmas lighting. And I'm someone who's very passionate about Christmas lighting. Govi makes it so easy. I set up the curtain lights, I set up the Christmas lights, I got the under eve lights up. You can sync them all in the dream view. You can set it to Christmas with tons of different options. You can even do DIY stuff and it just came out awesome. I think it looks so good. And decorating for Christmas is really as easy as going into the app and switching over from accent lighting to Christmas lighting. Enjoy up to 41% off on Govi between November 21st and December 2nd for their Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. All the links will be in the description below. The next steps are gonna to be to flash the ES Pixel Stick as well as create a sequence in x lights and then get that sequence to play on the Pixel Stick. Don't worry, it's not hard and I'm gonna show you how to do all of that, but jump to this timestamp if that's what you wanna see. And last comes the most challenging step of how do we actually sync our stroller with the fireworks show. I had practiced a bunch and I knew that from the time I plugged in my ES Pixel Stick to when the sequence started, it was just under one second. So I got everyone together well ahead of 8 p.m. We were hunkered down on Main Street USA, just waiting for the show to start. And then I remembered that they had a 10 minute and a five minute warning letting you know when the show would start. So I got that same world clock web page open. And at the 10 minute warning, the world clock was showing exactly 7.50 and zero seconds. And then at the five minute warning, it was exactly 7.55 and zero seconds. So at 7.59 and 50 seconds, I was ready. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and with one second left, I plugged in my ES Pixel Stick to my battery 
and we were off. To make me even more on edge, I didn't actually have the first lights of the sequence start until about 45 seconds into the show. I didn't want to plug in and immediately the strollers start lighting up. I wanted it to start very subtly, and it turns out that I was pretty close. We were within half a second of being synced with the show. It wasn't synced perfectly, but I think it came out awesome. Links to everything that I used will be in the description below, and I'll leave you with the final product and a few clips from the show. Don't be intimidated by this next portion, but I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to program this ESP pixel stick board. You're gonna separate the board. You're gonna take the controller that has the micro USB port on it, and you're gonna plug it in to your computer and make sure that you're using a cable that is for data and not just for charging. Now we're just gonna go to Google and we're gonna Google ES pixel stick. And then we're gonna go to that first link, which says ES pixel stick V3. This is forkni.com. This is where you can actually buy the board. But if you look in the description, and the very last word here is a link, and this is where it's gonna walk you through how to program this board. If you follow this exactly, it's gonna do great, but it's gonna give you version 3.2 of the software, and we want version four. But the requirements are important. You're gonna need Java, and if you're having issues flashing, then make sure you have this driver as well. And then pretty much we're gonna move back to Google and we're gonna search for ES Pixel Stick V4. And then we're gonna go to this GitHub link right here. And these will be all the betas for V4. So I'm gonna do the latest one, scroll to the bottom, and you're gonna download this zip file right here. So we'll go to our downloads now. And you are going to extract all these files. And the nice thing about this is this includes the flashing tool. So the ESP flashing tool, let's open that. So you're gonna enter your SSID, enter the password. Now, one thing that I like to check here is the AP fallback. That means if this board ever can't connect to Wi-Fi, it'll be an access point and then you can connect your phone to it. Our hardware is the ES Pixel Stick V3. And then make sure that you're on the right COM port. For me, it's COM port four and then you're just gonna click flash device. All right, and now we're done. And one of the nicest things about this is in the serial output, if you put in your SSID and passphrase properly and this thing connected to Wi-Fi, it'll actually tell you this is the IP address. So you can copy that IP address, go back to your browser, paste it in, and that will actually bring you to the ES Pixel Stick. So we've got the thing programmed, it's connected to Wi-Fi. Now we have to actually get a sequence onto this thing and tell it how to control the lights. So you're gonna unplug it from your computer. You're gonna put the board back together and we're gonna power it with our little battery bank. All right, so we've got our ES Pixel Stick plugged into our brick. We're gonna go to device setup and change a couple things. So our secondary input, we're gonna put FPP remote. The FSEQ file, we're gonna get from x which so we're gonna move into next. We need to take our output we need to enable it, so this is WS2811. We need to change this to 600 pixels. You could do this through X lights. I'm gonna change my brightness down to about 25%. That's all that I really need on these seed pixels. 
And if the colors are accurate, then I don't need to change RGB. But if you are having issues with the colors, you could either change it here or you could change it in X lights. If you're somebody that wants to do everything in X lights, then just do it there or you can do it here. So I'm gonna keep that the same. So we're gonna save these changes. So we're gonna open X lights. I really like X lights because it's open source, it's free, and it has allowed me to create custom sequences. So you need to create a show directory. I'm gonna change mine. So I'm gonna change it temporarily just for this demo here. So we're gonna create a folder called demo. So that's what I'm gonna tell X lights to use. I'm gonna save that. And now we're gonna hit discover. And if your computer and your ES Pixel Stick are both connected to the same Wi-Fi or the same network, it's gonna find it. Mine's gonna find a bunch of different boards as well, which I'm gonna delete out of here to not confuse anything. All right, so here is our ES Pixel Stick. We're gonna go ahead and save it. So the protocol, this one is already set to DDP. If it wasn't, make sure it's set to DDP. So now we have X lights, can see our controller. We're gonna to need to create a layout. I have three strings of 200 pixels. For the sake of just showing you how to do this, I'm just gonna create one string and I'm gonna change it to 600 pixels. And then for the controller, I'm going to select my ES Pixel Stick. And then for my port, I'm gonna change this to one. The pixels that I have are WS2811, but I don't think they're RGB as this says. So this is where you can change if your green and blue are mixed up or your red and green are mixed up, you can come and change that in here. So we've got our 600 pixels in a line. You can obviously create models that are much more complex, but for showing you how to do this, we're just gonna do a straight line. We're gonna go ahead and save that. We're gonna to go to sequencer. We're gonna create a new sequence, just an animation. I'm gonna do 20 frames per second, quick start, and I'm gonna do a marquee. It's just gonna be 30 seconds long. And I will change this to red and green the band size, I'll increase it to like 13. We'll speed it up a hair. There we go. So this is the sequence that I'm gonna upload. I'm gonna go ahead and save it and give it a name. I'm just gonna call this red and green YouTube demo. Save that. You go to tools, FPP connect. So it's looking for it's looking for FEP instances on the network. It found a bunch. I'm only gonna upload this to the ES Pixel Stick. So I check that to upload and then I check the sequence that I wanna upload. You can either do this or you could take that micro SD card and manually put the file on there. But I like this because it's so much simpler. So I'm gonna hit upload. Now for my 18 minute sequence, for Happily Ever After, it took a long time to upload. This is a tiny little 30 second sequence. And now the sequence is on the board. And now I'm gonna tell it, I also want it to play my red and green YouTube demo FSEQ file. So I'm gonna save the changes and it's gonna start playing that. Also, anytime I plug this board in, it's gonna be about a one second delay and it's gonna start playing this file. If you wanted it to play a different one, this is where you come and you can select them. I did gloss over a lot. These tools are way more powerful than I'm showing you, especially X lights. I'm sure there's some people that have better ways and that know way more than I do, but this will get you set up if you wanna do a stroller or a costume or put them on your car or a wagon or golf cart. I've hoped that I've equipped you so that you can pick up an ES Pixel Stick, some pixels, a power supply, and be good to go.